Wait, this is Eggbeard River Hollow, but it looks so different. Halt! This road is off limits. It is not on limits. You are limited to anywhere that is not this road. Hang on! I've got you! Aunt Belle? Horn! How did I get here? What's happening? We'd best get back to the village, Horn, and sort this all out. You stay on the walkway, Aunt Belle. It will be safer. I'll take the low road and protect you. Brave lad. But how did you come to be out here in the middle of the night? I don't know. I woke up in a tower. I think it was the Cuthbert Library Tower, but it... It seems so old. Like a ruin. Aunt Belle, do you not remember anything? The last thing I remember is planting turnips. You were... It's hard to explain. Just now, you were a behemoth. A colossus. Horn, what are you talking about? You tried to hurt me. I... I had to fight you. I did not know it was you, but then you changed back into yourself. I think it has something to do with this strange crystal I found. I know little of dark magic, but I wonder, if you released me from the form of a demon, had you similar form? And if so, how did you come to your own release? Horn experienced flashes of memory of being something huge in the ruins of that tower. Had he been Pygon, 
to. He recalled a sharp pain. Had the crystal struck him? Was its enchantment somehow key to undoing the Pygon curse? Horn! What's happening down there? My way is blocked. The arch has been bricked up. There's a lever here. It's rusted, but I think I can... Ugh. Aunt Belle, what do you know of that shrine? I remember hearing silly stories of magical songs. I'm going to investigate. Maybe there's something in there that can help us. Horn, be careful. Horn realized that though he could not sing, he did carry with him a strange artifact that just might be able to produce music. <laughs> I'll meet you on the other side of the pass horn. Thank you. 
Unhand me, foul beast. How are you alive? You're just ahead. I am Pygon. Pygon, do not live. Pygon cannot die. Life and death are curses from the mother. First creature, you will help me retrieve my body and then... Be quiet. <coughs> oh, no! We must find out if anyone's here. And so it was that Horn and Aunt Bell were awakened from the Pygon curse. But what of the strange crystal? What power did it wield? And what dark secrets would the Pygon head reveal?